It is the northwesternmost state of the US. To celebrate the recent data release from Landsat 9, today we take a closer look at a part of Washington state through the lens of Landsat 9. Welcome to Earth and Space. This full-scholar image, captured on the 12th of February by Landsat 9, has been processed using the satellite's near-infrared channel. This channel is frequently used to highlight vegetation, which is particularly evident in the lower half of the image. Fields that are currently cultivated can be seen in bright red, while unvegetated areas appear in green and brown. Circular shapes are center-pivot irrigation fields, where equipment rotates around the central pivot and crops are watered with sprinklers. Washington is a leading agricultural state, with the top crops being apples, milk, potatoes and wheat. Columbia River, the largest river in the Pacific Northwest, is visible in black. The river rises in the Rocky Mountains of British Columbia in Canada, flows through Washington and Oregon before emptying into the Pacific Ocean. The river is one of the world's greatest sources of hydroelectric power and, with its tributaries, represents a third of the potential hydropower of the United States. As water absorbs a fair amount of radiation, water bodies such as the Columbia River appear black in the image. However, certain icy water bodies can be seen in turquoise, as ice reflects less in the near-infrared channel than in the visible part of the spectrum. A partnership between NASA and the US Geological Survey, Landsat 9 was launched in September 2021. The satellite carries two science instruments, the Operational Land Imager, which captures observations of the Earth's surface in visible, near-infrared and shortwave infrared bands, and the Thermal Infrared Sensor, which measures thermal infrared radiation, or heat, emitted from Earth's surface. Data from Landsat 9 is now publicly available for users and researchers across the world. The satellite will continue the program's critical role in monitoring, understanding and managing the land resources needed to sustain human life. <laughs>